Hello, Virgo. So keep in mind, no reading can resonate with every Virgo on the planet all the time. Also keep in mind, energies can be reversed. So if I say that you did something and you know that you didn't, it simply means to be aware that someone else in this situation most likely did, whether you are aware of this or not. So first to begin with, we have a boss, a public figure, a CEO, an Aries. This even could be a public speaker, a father figure. Anyway, you get the picture. Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, and Leo. These zodiac signs may be relevant. They may not be. And that's okay. I'm just letting you know what's out there. So to begin with, the first card that we have in the center is the present situation, and it's the High Priestess. You're sitting between the dark and the light in this current moment. You are repressing or hiding information. For some of you, the forbidden fruit may be relevant. There may have been an element of luck that has um, been bestowed to you or um, you may have felt lucky regarding a situation. It could be something like that. There also could be issues regarding a cat. Just putting that out there for some of you. The next card is your challenge, and it is temperance. This is about balancing out your emotions. This is about um, finding that balance between the spiritual and the material world. It's about the synthesis of the energies, basically. It's um, a needing to heal Maybe to balance, to be fair, to be just, something like that. And I'll explain that a little bit later on. But you may have tested the waters even in certain situations <clears throat> because you were emotional. So keep in mind throughout the reading, <clears throat> what's being told to you is that what's crossing you is your own emotions. So, in the past position, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is somebody who's indecisive, wishy-washy, uh, not making choices. It could be any of that. It also could be juggling people, places, things, situations, philosophies. It could be anything like that. It also could point to um, trying to manage your money better, even. Okay. The thing that I'm seeing here, though, it looks as if you're emotional, but you're hiding those emotions, not making choices, um, or being wishy-washy. And the reason why, we've got the future as justice reversed. That means that something was unfair <clears throat> or unjust, unbalanced. I get the feeling that there's some sort of illegal activity even for some of you, though. I really do. Because of the emotions being out of control. Which leads me to the next card, which is your goal or aspiration, which is dominion, control. You're heavily guarded. 
maybe you're protecting your domicile, you know. It could be anything like that. But regardless of how you look at it, your goal and aspiration is to be in control of someone, something. But looking at the cards prior to it, it looks like because you were emotional, you did something unjust, and now you're trying to keep that under wraps, under control, in, er in order to protect your kingdom, so to speak. And that's where we come into the boss, public figure, CEO, Aries, uh, public speaker, father figure, something like that, okay? So then we go to your subconscious. What are you wanting to do? We've got the full card. This is a leap of faith. Um, taking chances. Traveling lightly. Could be any of these things. But there's a danger here that you're not seeing the dangers of what you are doing or you didn't see the dangers of what you were doing. You may have had kind of an illusion or a delusion of the grandeur of things that would come. And sometimes, you know, it pays off, but other times it doesn't. So I feel like looking at the the full picture of these cards, it's like you tried to keep somebody from being able to take a leap of faith. That's basically how it looks. This may or may not be true, but that's how it looks. So holding someone back. The advice here which is crazy to be an advice card. It's the Nine of Swords. But the Nine of Swords is about being all in your head, right? So again, your emotions, all of this stuff that's going on is in your head. If you see the swords are about to fall, but she can change that, but she's not. Why? There's an element of vanity here. Also, this could talk about needing to work on your sleep patterns. Maybe there's insomnia, anxiety issues, that kind of thing. But you're going to have to change the way you think. That's truthfully what this says to me. You're going to have to change the way that you think about this situation. The external influences is the Three of Swords. That's a deception, a heartbreak, a third party. Could be any of these. But I'm going to tell you I get it as deception in the full picture of the reading. There's, there's a deception here, definitely a deception, because we've got justice reverse with the high priestess right beside it. See? What are your hopes or fears? Either you're hopeful of a victory or you're afraid of someone else getting a victory. Could be something to that degree. But the problem is that if you don't change what you're doing right now and change the way that you think about the situation and make it right, the outcome is the Queen of Wands reverse. And I know what the meaning is, and I'll tell you that, but the way that I heard it was a loss of reputation. 
This card can signify jealousy, opposition, betrayal, infidelity. Any of that, but it came to me as a loss of reputation. So, what am I going to take away from this reading for you guys? Is that you let your emotions get the best of you. So, for some of you, if you look at this, because of the order they come in, is like this you have anxiety about a deceitful victory because you were jealous, deceptive. Um, betrayed someone, opposed someone, right? It also could be that a Cancerian was jealous here. I don't know. It could go any kind of way like that, but... We have a four, which tells me this is about roots, stability, home. Um, maybe even a move for some. This is about your money. What else do I have? There's some kind of change here that's going to occur to your money. And you may be back at ground zero if you're not careful. Because of your belief system. There's something about the way that you're communicating as well. But whatever this is, there's some sort of divine timing that, you know, if this hasn't already happened, if you don't make the situation right, you're going to lose your reputation. That's just the way that I see it. You know, and I, I try to keep it in a positive spin here, but when I see so many, like I said, the high priestess, justice reverse, the emperor, which is all about control, three of swords, deception, queen of wands, reverse, jealousy, this is an energy that has to be changed within you, and, you know, whether we think we're right or we you know, know that we're wrong and still continue on through vindictiveness, no matter what this is, and I'd like to think that maybe, you know, whoever this is just thinks that they're justified for whatever reason. But even if you are justified, two wrongs don't make a right, and you will be caught. So be very careful, guys, okay? I wish the best for you, and if this is being done to you, rather than you doing it to someone else, you know, well, I'm just going to say, you know, you may want to get out of this situation or report the situation. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.